Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I'm back on one of my favourite subjects, which is uh, matchbox kits. And tonight um, I've got a kit that I never had when I was a kid. This was one of the multi kit um, kits uh, where you had, in this instance, you got three um, small kits within the box. And these things were a bit more expensive than the single kits like the wesp i've shown you and, and the jag panther and as i've mentioned before i could never save up the the money just had to go once i got it so i never saved up enough to to buy these uh more expensive ones so i'm really pleased to have this in the collection now as you can see it's another revel repop um but that doesn't matter so much to me uh i'm just i'm just glad that I, i've got all to it at last so if we have a look at the back of the box, as always, we get the giveaways. Um, there's the, the diorama there, yeah, which is quite a quite a good one there because you've got quite a fair size of the front of a building and then you've got the um, desert road or whatever uh, in front of it. So as you can see, you get a, looks like a BMW and sidecar. Um, you get the SD KFZ, uh, is it 11? And then you get um, a pack 7.5 centimeter. Let me just see if it was it SD cap said 11. Yeah, 11. So we'll have a quick look inside the box again. Another giveaway 176 scale. So, um, as we all know now, the, the diorama and the scale are, are two of the giveaway straight away. So let's have a look inside the box and see what we've got in there and how well this is still producing from from the from the molds okay so the first thing is these one of these really nice um instructions booklets inside again it looks like it's all in color which is which is really good really like these i wish revel would do it more on on their uh, kits We've got the um, decal placement for Dave. I think you may only get the one option. This is the 21st Panzer Division Africa Corps, 1942. Over here, we've got the diorama and how to build that up. Um, and they've got some paint shout outs there as well, which is good. And then typical construction step by step that's nice then if we have a quick look at the um quick look at the plastic sorry about the glare guys as you can see just under that b there made in <laughs> so it should have had England there and it you know it looks nice and crisp I can't see any flash on there so that's really good here's your um here's your road base and then your other items the the road wheels or whatever they may be called on a half track I'm wondering if they could do with um, having the holes drilled out on there just to give it a bit more realism. Even the uh, even the figures look uh, free of flash as well, which is really nice. And then here's the um, other parts of the half track and uh, the pack 75. The side sidecar there and then the the actual motorcycle over there so that's really good and as i say i'm just dead chuffed that we um or that i've managed to get this um i just noticed the pk reference there pk 171 so so there we go right so that's basically it for this one uh this will go in the in the loft with the others um and to be built at some stage i don't know I don't know when. Um, 
I am doing some 170 second armor builds. I prefer to keep everything the same scale, so I very rarely will I put a 176 in with a 170 second because there is a noticeable difference. Sometimes what I might do is have a 176 vehicle or a 170 second aircraft because you know it's not quite as obvious, I don't think. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this and uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon.